Good afternoon. Uh, first of all, I think I have to, and I do it. Um, I do it with a bit of, of sadness, but um, I have to do it. I have to speak about um, Mauricio. I have to congratulate him for the work he did, and I had. I have to share with you what um, we already share indoors, which is uh, this club will be always his, uh, his home. This training ground will be always his training ground. He can come when he wants, when he misses the players, when he misses the people that he work with. The door is always open for, uh, for him. And um, from my experience, um, tomorrow is another day and you will find happiness again, you will find a, a great club again and you will have a great, a great future. I, I, am, I am humble, I am humble enough to, to try to, to analyze, which was what I did to try to analyze my career, not just the last year, but to analyze my career, the evolution, the problems, the solutions. I was humble enough uh, for that. Um, the principle of the analyze was not to blame anyone else. Uh, and when I had meetings with my, my assistants and uh, the people that I thought about bringing to, to work with me in this, in this chapter, was always based on the principle there is nobody else to, to blame, there is nobody else to analyze, it's just only about us. And that was, was a great thing because I went really, I went really deep in that, in that, uh, in that analyze and was, was very important for me. And uh, I'm nobody to advise, to advise people, but sometimes to have a, a break uh, looked very, very positive for me. Um, I can say that because it was the first summer that I didn't work was was not easy. I felt a little bit a bit a little bit lost during that preseason period. But before that and uh, and after that was a, a learning process. I even learned how to be a pundit. <laughs> <laughs> Spurs fans know you as Mr. Chelsea. What are you going to do? What do you need to do to get them on side and win them over? No, I think they have to see me as Mr. Inter, uh, Mr. Real Madrid, Mr. Porto. I think they have to see me as Mr. Club, which means every club that I go, as I used to say in a funny way, I arrive, I wear the pyjama of the club and I even sleep with the pyjama. Uh, I work and I sleep. You know, tracksuit, pyjama, you confuse the tracksuit with the pyjama. So that's the way I am. I am a club man, but many clubs man. I decided in, in, in my career to have this adventure. It goes through different countries uh, until I, I did it, what I call the Grand Slam. Uh, Italy, Spain, and and uh, and um, England, England, Spain, and Italy. I I didn't stop. I wanted to do it, and I did it with with this passion. Then, of course, uh, the Premier League is what I always told is my natural habitat. Is where I most loved. Is is where I feel that if I have the options, I always told that is the um, the football country and the football league that. Uh, I consider the best, the most enjoyable, and where I really I'm happy. This morning I woke up in in here in the training ground. I I stayed. We worked yesterday until very very late, and um, we all stayed in the in the lodge. And um, if we were trying to find a six star hotel, we couldn't find better than than in here. Absolutely amazing, great beds, huge pillows, <laughs> um, pff, huge pillows, amazing. You sleep in the middle of five or six huge soft pillows, very, very good. Expensive dovet, expensive dovet, so, so good. 
Um, so this morning I woke up with all my guys, seven o'clock, and start working. So that's that's what I want. Um, really, really happy. So you are a let us say serial winner. Do you think no winning the final in the Champions League pay at all in the squad of uh, Mauricio Pochettino? I don't know because I never lost a Champions League final. But I can imagine it's not easy. This is also about principles. And uh, if people share principles... I read one quote, uh, a, little, a little work about Kobe Bryant. And if we have to speak about some example of, of professionalism and, and serial winner, Kobe is a great example in his, in his uh, sport, in the world of sport, where he says, people say that I'm difficult, but I'm only difficult for the ones that don't share my principles. So all the, all the colleagues that share his principles, they just love him. The ones that don't like him are the ones that don't share the principles. And with me, it's, it's basically the same. For me, everything is about... Is about the team. It's not about selfish people. For me, everything is about is about uh, the group and uh, professionalism and commitment and respect for the club and respect for the mates, respect for the fans. I cannot run away from from this. So if if there is somebody that doesn't share these principles with me, then we have a problem, and we will always have a problem because. This is the way I think uh, football has to be. And the players are only big when they make the others better. You cannot be a big player if you just think about yourself. That's another principle. To be a big player, you have to make other better. If I have players that they think they are big and they just care about themselves and they forget to help others to be big, we are always going to have a problem. Jose, four years ago when you were at Chelsea, you were asked if you would ever come to Spurs and you said, never, I love the Chelsea fans too much. What's changed? Yeah, before I was sacked. 